Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tom Magoo. Welcome to a little tutorial, actually. I'm going to show you how to uh, record the PS4 camera for any videos that you do, either on the PC or, um, or what have you. Um, so, the way this works, uh, you're going to go into, you're going to start up your PlayStation 4. I'm not physically recording the screen, I'm just going to record what I'm doing through the PlayStation, um, just as a little quick tutorial for you guys. But anyways, <clears throat> so what you're going to do is you're going to um, download and install Playroom if you haven't already. Obviously you do need the uh, PlayStation 4 camera, because uh, that's what we're doing. And a capture device. This is the most important part. You do have to have a capture device. I'm sorry there's not any other way that I know of um, to really do it. I mean, you can use the PlayStation 4 recording um, ability or even the live stream if your internet is very good and then you don't really necessarily need a recording uh, or capture device but that's entirely up to you again the uh, PlayStation 4's recording is only for 15 minutes and uh, the live stream works really well um, if you have the ability to turn the resolution up all the way um, but of course it only gives you about 720 P anyways and the camera records in about 720 so it's going to it's going to downgrade it a little bit to uh, somewhere between um, 480 and 720 when doing that but anyways moving on so again uh, make sure you have playroom installed and downloaded whatever on your PlayStation 4 and then I've already gone through the setup with this um, already but uh, you know just go through the setup and then get to the game selection menu um, which will be showing up here Sorry the lighting's a little dark, but I figured this would just be a nice quick view for you guys. Um, so there's not much. Okay, so we're on to the game selection. So what you're gonna do is, I actually, uh, I went through a few different things just to figure out which one's gonna work. Um, but I found out the, at least for this purpose, the best one to do is the AR bots. So you're gonna go ahead and select the AR bots. And then initially it's gonna ask it's gonna make you do a few things to to get you know into the swing of everything Suck all the little dudes in whatever doesn't matter And then what we're gonna do is if if the little bot doesn't come around the corner here Which he probably will on your guys' screen and he's gonna tell you what to do He's gonna tell you to to flick out one of the little guys and then you know do a bunch of other stuff so um, wait a second here. He probably won't show up because I've already done all this. So I know what I'm doing already, and it knows that I know what I'm doing, so... Um, well, let's just imagine for once, um, there's a robot in this side of your screen, right? Uh, oh, there he is. Okay, so he's telling me what to do. <clears throat> Excuse me, he's telling me to flick one out. Okay, that's fine, whatever. We're just gonna see this little guy. Get out of there, you little bastard. Whatever. Um, initially I tried to flick him away, and it worked for about a minute. And then he just came back in the end of view, so obviously that didn't work. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna suck him back in. All right, and then we're gonna go into the controller because the bot comes back around and tells you to 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 do this part. La 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 la. Die, you little bastards! Okay, anyways, <laughs> and then we're gonna click. Um, or we're gonna go out by sliding it forward, and then I believe that was it. Yeah. If I remember correctly, that's all you have to do. Obviously, there's audio playing right now, um, so if you have a recording device or if you're using the PlayStation's recording soft or function or live stream, you're gonna get audio. But of course, you can cut audio out. That's easy. Um, obviously, you can hear stuff in the controller. Um, I can't. I can hear it if I take my headphones off. Um, you, I believe, you can turn the uh, audio down on your controller without affecting anything. Oh, that's my headphones. Okay, well, I can't change it for whatever reason. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as your... As long as your... Um, your microphone here isn't... Uh, picking up any audio from your controller, then that's not gonna matter. So you can go move your controller into the other room or something, you know, put it away somewhere where it can't be heard very loud, and then that's it. You guys are golden. So again, make sure you do have... Um, something to record this with. You can, like, uh, like I said, you can use the recording software that the PlayStation, PlayStation comes with. Um, but again, it is only for 15 minutes, so you do have to have that. If you want, you can technically do a half hour, but the way that that works is you uh, start the recording at um, 
at, you know, at one spot, let's say here or whatever, and it'll go for 15 minutes or 14 minutes and 50 some seconds, and then it'll stop, save for about um, a second and a half to two seconds, and then it'll it'll start recording again, and then you do have to have a timer or something for um, 30 minutes worth of time, because obviously you're not going to be paying attention on the on the top left of the screen when the um, when the video file has been saved. So about 30 minutes later, after you've initially started the 50 the first 15 minute recording, you do have to go back into your share menu and then save that video clip. That way you get about a half hour worth of recording time in. And that's plenty of time for most things. Uh, if you didn't want to do like an hour long session or something, either get a recording device or um, test out the live stream if you guys are capable of doing that with your internet. Internet speed has to be pretty decent, somewhere around um, 20 meg or higher um, to get pretty decent you know, video out of it. But uh, anyways, that's all I got for you guys. So again, if you have any more questions, please post them down in the comments below. Um, otherwise, like I said in a previous video, um, I believe it was my Thief playthrough, my first one, um, there is a uh, developer actually working on trying to get the PlayStation 4 to work on PC. Currently, there is a beta or alpha, whatever software, that is available for a PC, but of course that also requires taking the camera apart and wiring a USB and instead of a PlayStation proprietary and on the camera. So obviously that's not good. Um, but we're they're working on something, so maybe in the future, who knows. Otherwise for now, if you don't want to mess with all this stuff, obviously go out and get a nice webcam. They're not that expensive. They're probably about as spendy as this as this camera is, but if you guys have a PlayStation 4 and have a camera and you do want to do other stuff besides that but you want to use the PlayStation 4's camera without spending more money on another camera this is an option it's complicated it's it was a little complicated kind of long but uh, definitely does work and the camera's resolution is pretty good so anyways thank you all so much for watching again if you have any comment or questions post them down in the comments below and that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.